Hi guys, this is Delores Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at the sticky header in Android application. Uh, you should be familiar with the sticky header. No, it's just like a top, a form of like an heading. You know, we you can incorporate it in the list view or in a recycler view. Also, you can also uh, add it up in a grid view, whereby there will be particular header for each session, you know, each module of the list of the grid uh, uh, views. So I actually incorporate uh, the grid view whereby I got um, some PNG files, you know, and also a list view in order to show how the sticky header actually flows in an Android application. So I'll be moving straight to my development environment, Android Studio, where I'll be explaining in details how the application is being developed. Okay, uh, we'll move to our build scripts, uh, the Gradle uh, scripts, the build Gradle, the module, and the project session. Let's look at the module app. Here we have the compiler SDK 23 and the build tools version 23.0.2. Uh, we have the dependencies, these are very important. Uh, the, the compile file tree, the text compile, and the Android support app compact, the support design. And there is one library that is very important in the course of the sticky header, which is the dev.dworks.libs, the stick. Is the key header 0.1.0 actually build on this library you know, to get uh, a good uh, UI for our sticky header? That's very, very important in the compilation of the application. Let's look at the project session. We only have the class part, the build grade 1.5.0. That's fine. Uh, we'll be moving straight to the layout of the application uh, where we have different XML uh, files the activity about, the activity grid, the list, the main, the, uh, the grid item, the grid item header. So we're talking about the grid and the list, uh, the list item and the list item where they actually added an about session just uh, to add up to the uh, build of the application. So let's look at the list item XML. Uh, we have this is a linear layout uh, with a width match parent while the height is 65 dp. Uh, this uh, particular XML code is very important. The div the works, the lips, the STK header UI, you know, is a square image view. No, for the image, I send an ID called image, and the drawable is from the empty photo. Okay, and the text we follow uh, with an ID called name, and the text on is a cute cat. Okay, uh, let's look at the list item headers. You know, this for the I the headers now. Uh, we have is a frame layout. Okay, uh, with the text view, uh, with text all caps. You know, it's true. You know, and it's a single line, and we are sending an ID to it called header. All right, let's look at the grid uh, counterpart. The grid item is also a frame layout uh, with the weight and height matching parent. Uh, we have the Steve works lips a sticky header for the square image view. You know for the grids. Okay, the, sc the scale type is center crop. Okay, so it's going to be centerized. Why right? it's calling from the drawable empty photo as well. Assign an ID to it called the image. Uh, let's look. Let's look for the header. You know, just like the way the list item is being uh, done, but this time uh, we have the first parent tag as the header layout uh, XML, and the text it follows. You know, and we have to close it up with the div works header layout. You know, for the header for the grid. All right, let's look at the activity list XML. Uh, this is a linear layout, and also we included this. Uh, the find section list view, you know, from the library of the sticky header uh, from Vuex, okay. And also, we'll be looking at the activity grid. Now we included the find section grid view, you know, uh, this for um, choice mode, which is single choice, calling from the background color white. Uh, foc focusable is false. Uh, the pattern left and right NDPs, you know, we actually set some stuff there. Now for the activity about which I actually just added up to this application to make it look more robust, is a scroll view uh, whereby we have a relative layout follows, and inside the relative layer we have linear layouts uh, with the center horizontal is true and the rotation is vertical. Another linear layer right inside the, uh, the linear layout with the layout with wrap content and the edge wrap content, the rotation is vertical. We have a text view uh, that actually holds the another sticky header, you know. Another text view, uh, this library can be used to have sticky headers for both uh, the, uh, and the another text view for the contributions. Uh, we have a view, okay, 
and a linear layer follows uh, with the text who is, which has been developed from the appropriate drawable part, okay? Uh, the text which follows to make a small difference. We all see this in the UI of the application when it's been tested. Let's look at the design and initialize render library might have been fully, okay? This is how the application will actually sit, you know, that's fine. Uh, to make a small difference, it would love, you know, from the direct studios. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's look at the drawables. You know, we have a lot of uh, cuts, PNGs here because we'll be having them in the list view and also in the grid format. Okay, actually got a lot of cut pictures, you know, as pets. All right, quite enormous. And my logo, okay. Uh, uh, that's fine. Uh, but looking at the Java folder, well, we'll talk about the Java classes. Uh, the, we have five Java classes to, 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 to use in this course of our application. We have the grid activity, we have the list activity, we have the main activity, and the cache activity you know, that is going to catch all those pictures and the about for the about session. Let's look at the main activity. Uh, we imported the content activity info, the package info, the package manager, and also the list adapter. Okay. Uh, the main activity extends action back activity. You know, this has been deprecated to the, the new version is the app comfort activity, uh, but you can still use it, which implements the on item click listener. Okay. We're going to set a content view to the layout activity main, which we explain on our own create method. And we're going to assign, you know, we created a field, a private field called M list. Now we're going to call it ID from the list and assign it to the M list and set an on, on item click listener to it. And also set adapter by getting the supply adapter uh, method. On option, on create option menu, we're going to get the main menu of the application. While on option item selected, you is going to switch based on this ID. Uh, get the action about and call this corresponding intent to the about activity. Okay. Now uh, we have a list adapter, uh, get sample adapter method. Uh, this is an array list in a generic that picks up activity info. And now a final string, this class name, you get the class and also get this name. As a try and catch method here, uh, where we call on the package info, given a P info. We get the package manager and we get its package info and also get its package name and get its activities based on the package manager okay so for activity info uh that's an as for loop uh if not not this class name is equals to the info name and not a info name ends with about activity that is if it's not ending with about activity it's going to call on the add activity actually uh added an act activity to this, uh, which I'll be including in the source file I'm going to send to GitHub. Okay, we're going to catch a name not found exception. That is if none of this is there. Okay, uh, we have the get item ID, the view get view, and also the on item click. That's on particular item being clicked on the list of the, uh, in the main activity. It's going to call this corresponding intent. That's just what that is doing. We are now, we have a list activity that extends cache activity. Okay, we'll get to know what the cache activity is, been do, is doing. Uh, it calls on the activity list layout. We have the init controls that gets the ID of the list and also the M adapter. We have a for loop to check for the M header positions. So if these positions, uh, if this iteration has been going on, what's going to happen? The section is going to add the M header positions based on the counter and also the M header names. Okay. Uh, we have the image adapter that extends this adapter. I've created a private field called the M inflator. Uh, the constructor image adapter. Okay. Where we instantiate this and get the layout inflator service. Let's get count, get item method, get item ID, and, and even get a view based on the position, the convert view, and the parent uh, attributes. Okay. This is the drawables uh, and the cats files uh we are we actually uh save this in the m image ids is an integer array a lot of cat files to talk about here and also we assign an the header to it, the 
M A other names also in an array, you know, cute cats, few cats, so on, with its position. Now the view order is going to pick on the particular view for each cat cat view. All right. Let's look at the grid activity. This extends catchy activity, okay? Uh, where we have the uncreate method calling on the activity grid. Uh, this is how to set up a grid in your application. The init controls uh, for a for loop to get the position of each grid. And the uncreate options menu also. Uh, we also have the image IDs, just like the way we have for the list activity. The same thing happens there. We'll be looking at the about activity. Uh, this is for the about session where I have the home, the GitHub, you know, to, to a particular GitHub account. And also, uh, the action Google Plus, okay, uh, the Twitter, okay, and uh, the feedback. That's fine. Uh, we'll be looking at the catchy activity. Okay, uh, this extends action back compact, just like we know. We have the on post create, on resume, the on post that sets the post work. That will be on destroy, on option item selected. Which is going to call on the home, okay? That the init cache, okay? This is where we have the bitmap factory, which get the resources and the drawable empty photo, and you have a maximum memory we assign at runtime, which is uh in uh, like ten MB. This, no, this is a thousand and twenty four kilobytes, which is being divided by two to get the cache size. At the end, memory cache uh is being Instantiated with the LUR cache with the string of bitmaps. Okay, this is going to get the key and there's the key integer. All right, that's fine. Uh, I would like you to go through this cache activity, is actually holding onto the pictures and letting it uh, being displayed appropriately. Okay, we have the bitmap worker text, the async drawable, you know, which is being done in the background, and the old scroll state change. All right, that's fine. Uh, I'll be looking at the Android manifest. You know? Okay, we have uh, the internet permission and the access network state permission. And also, we set up the style to the theme app compact based on the style XML. We have the launcher activity. That's fine. Now, you need to include the about activity over here and also the sticky header, the last, the list activity, and the grid activity. So, these three activities are very important. You know, these are activities that will be needed in the course of the intent you know, pass it to another activity about activity the list activity and the grid activity i'll be uploading the source code to my github accounts you know so that you can pick it up from there and also i'll be showing this in my emulator so that you can actually see how the application flow okay here we go with the application the sticky header app name we have the list the sticky list headers you no know, this is the main activity anyway this is for the list headers and also for the grid headers. Let's look for the, let's get to see the list headers. Click on this. My emulator is. All right. Uh, we have for different modules for cute apps, uh, cats rather, for few cats. So a scroll top will keep the cute cats sticky until. A few cats take position. So you get that. Likewise for some cats, some more and more cats. Okay, that's fine. That's what the sticky header really means. This is for the list view. Okay. Uh trying to get back. Okay. Many cats. Let's see. I'm going to scroll back. Okay. All right. Let's look at the grid session. Step backwards. The sticky grid headers. Okay. And this is in a grid view where we have a box of images. Box of images, cute cats, few cats also. Uh, the images are coming up. 
Let's go to the top of my Tomcat. Let's go down. Let's go down. Huge cats. Okay. Uh, probably the images are coming up. Uh, the notice this it's coming up. All right. So you notice these headers, which are the sticky headers, which are this is being included in the grid format. Okay, that's fine. Um, let me go back. So a bad session, which is in the uh, more. Okay, we have our bad session. That's the gear there, developed by the Lara Studios. It's fine. Okay, made with love. You have the uh, GitHub, the Google Plus, uh, the uh, Twitter. These are all going to launch to the corresponding intent on the web view. Thank you very, very much for hanging out with me throughout the session. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading the source files my github account so you can pick it up for there uh thank you once more have a wonderful time bye, -bye.